Hey, it's around here. This is a tech tutorial on using coupons in system IO. So uh, bear with me as I'm in a hotel room <laughs> doing this video. I got a question from one of my members in my tech support membership. And you see here an example of a checkout form. Now the coupons only work when you see them in the order form. You can't see it any other places. So once you're here, you typically would set up the pricing plan right here by clicking on this button. And then you would click on create a new plan and so on. Now the coupons work the exact same way and you see it right here. Now, in terms of the coupons, you would click on the plus button. And if you already have a coupon from the past, then you can pick any one of these as an example. But we're going to pretend that we have, don't have any coupons. This is the first time if you're doing it. So you're going to click on create new. Then you're going to give it a name. Now, coupon name used in the dashboard. It simply means that this is the coupon code for your information on what is the name of the coupon. So for example, you're going to give this to uh, founding members special, let's just say, and you're going to give it a coupon code. Now you're going to make up the code. So you're going to call it um, FML founding member launch and let's say 99. Okay. And that's going to designate 99%. Then you're going to click on the discount type. Now the options are either you take a specific amount of the main price or you do a percentage. Now, what I mean by that is that let's say the price is $100 for the membership and it's a monthly subscription, then a percentage, you will be 99% off. It means that they will only pay a dollar. But you got to be careful because if you have two pricing plans, it will always be 99 of that specific of both plans, not just one plan. And the same thing applies if you're saying not doing a percentage of discount but you're saying a specific amount of dollars. So if let's say your membership or the ticket, your, your, the coaching program you're selling or whatever is $100 and you wanna give 90% off, okay? So you're gonna say $90. And that means that it's going to be for that particular option, uh, that particular discount is from the dollar amount. So you just gotta be careful on what it is. So based on that, you wanna choose if it's a percent discount or if it's an amount discount. In this case, I'm going to basically make a 99% uh, percent off, basically. Now, here's the option where we're going to say when it's going to expire. And this is good if you're doing, let's say, a Black Friday deal, or you're doing a specific offer for a time frame where you're saying by this date, if you join, you get 10% off or 20% off. Then this is where you would put a deadline and the coupon will stop working once this date is set. So you would put the date, and then you're going to choose the time and it's always going to be based on your time zone. Okay. So whatever your time zone is that you've set up in the settings of system, that's what it's going to be based on. Now, let's just say you don't want to have an expired date. You will just leave it blank. And here is um, if you want to have a specific number of people. So for example, in my landing pay challenge, what I did is I said the first five people that pay get it for X amount of dollars. Then you could say, okay, it's going to be limited to five people and that's it. Okay. Now in this case, I'm going to leave it blank and I'm gonna say 99% off. Now, I'm just gonna show you, you cannot actually do 100% off, unfortunately. So if I try to click on create, you will see it says the value should be between one and 99. If I want it to be 99.5%, again, I'm gonna click on create, you see it's going to say no. So it has to be at least one or 99. It can't do it any other way. So you just need to be aware of that. So if you wanna say give a month off, you actually can't do a month off per se, okay? Now, here's the thing. So if you want to do uh, only one month discount plan, basically, like you want to give a discount for the first month, let's say your membership is $100 a month, you want to say the first month is uh, $1 and then the rest is $100, you actually won't be able to use the coupons, but I'll show you how to do in that instead. So now you're going to click on create. And now this is the coupon code that it's going to be available and you just give them this particular link. Now, the other thing you need to be aware of before I move on to showing you how to do another pricing plan where you give one month off and the option, the other options are, uh, and then it's, it goes back to the normal price. You need to make sure that on the form, you actually drag the coupon uh, element. Okay. So right now you'll notice that here, there's actually no coupon element here. So you're going to need to drag the coupon element um, to the specific part that you want. And this is especially good, um, you know, I've, I've seen people um, complain about this point where you have to, like, it should be automatically triggered. But I'll tell you that when I used other software tools, not um, 
system, what happens is that by default, there is always a coupon place. So then when somebody goes to check out, they are always assuming, oh, is there a coupon? And then they get distracted from actually checking out. So the fact that system IO forces you, you that you have to put in this feature or this element, that's actually very, very good for conversions, okay? So this is a good thing. I know that people had questions on that, so I wanna clarify that. Now, for example, I don't wanna have this aspect, customer uh, or individual or company, so I can delete that. And then you can decide what else is important to you. In my case, I don't care about these things. As an example, I don't really care about other, other things as well. And then that's pretty much uh, what's going to be available. So now they can enter the coupon code. Now, if you were to do a discount, you can change the text here. So for example, enter your coupon, right, right here. Or you could say type FML99 as an example. You can actually type that as well. So people know what to say there. And you can also make this bigger or smaller as you see fit. You can change the color of the text. You can make things like rounded like this. If you want, you'll see the difference. Notice the difference that it does. So you can do a lot of things along these lines. The styling, you can also make it so it's um, different on the styling and I'll show you what I mean by that. So you can see this, the color is going to be different. Um, you can make it so it's like that. This thick, it's totally customizable just like anything else. Now this one, apply. you, you could say apply coupon. Right, and again, this is the customization for the text as well, if you wanna change it around and all that stuff, that's again, totally customizable. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna exit from this for a moment because I'm gonna show you a couple other important things you need to be aware of. Notice that right now it shows default pricing because I haven't added any pricing information. So now I'm gonna go and add the pricing information. Now, I have another tutorial on my pricing. I'll, sh I'll put it somewhere around this video so you can check out. But here's the pricing. If Let's just say right now you wanna say but the first month is free or discounted, and then after that, it's, it keeps going, you're gonna need to add a new plan, and here's how this works. You're gonna click on the plus button, you're gonna click here to create a new one, you're gonna um, call it, and again, price plan displayed on your dashboard. This is the eternal name for you. This is your name, so you know what this is. So for example, Black Friday special, uh, two month, oh, let's say two months special, let's just say. And then you're going to give a membership Black Friday special. And then this is going to be what's going to actually display the text on the order form. Okay, so this is really important. Then you make it short and succinct on what it's going to be. This is what's going to say in the credit card statement. So usually it's gonna be the same thing. So you might guess I'll just do membership. And then you're going to choose if it's a subscription, you will have the option to say trial days. And you can put 30 days. Now, you're gonna do every month, and it's, you're gonna do uh, $100 per month, or $97 per month. What it means is the first 30 days is going to be free, and then it's going to then continue to be paid from that point on. So this is how you're going to do this. Um, you're gonna say, um, and you could also do, let's say, 60 days, right? And you can also do it by month, so you could do um, two weeks, or one month, or one year, or whatever. So this is how you would do it. Um, now on this one, you just wanna make sure that it's clear what it is for yourself so you know what it is. And this one, it's important because it's actually going to show on the checkout page. So now I'm going to say, for example, Black Friday special, okay? And we're going to say the first month is free and then $97 after that. Now you're going to click on save. Now I'm gonna click save step. You have to make sure you do save step. Coupon code can't be greater Oh, I see. So I put the nine, the percentage a, a little bit too much, basically. If it's 99% off $97, so uh, it's, it's too little. It's gotta be at least $1. So let me just change that. So now we're going to create a coupon code again. So we're gonna delete this coupon code. We're gonna create a new one. And then we're going to create a coupon code, demo. We're gonna call this um, FML99. Oh, anyway, we'll call it something else. FML 90, let's just say, fixed amount, uh, sorry, not fixed amount, 99%, 90% off, create, and now this will work. You'll see if it says green, final step is successfully saved. Now let's just say I didn't save it, you can always delete the coupon code, and you can always click on the plus button and actually find the coupon code that you had saved. So for example, in this case, I had FML 90, here's the coupon code. So you can always bring back whatever the coupon 
that you had previously. So that's in case you didn't save it, it's always there. You don't have to create it again. It's not our important piece. I'm gonna click on save. And what is it? FML 90. Now I'm gonna click on the edit button. And then here, I'm gonna change the text again to FML 90. Now notice that the price is free for one month, then $97 every month after that. Click on the, the setting, the preview button. And let's see what happens when I type FML 90. FML 90, apply coupon. And there you go. So now it's going to be $97 for one month. Okay, so it's gonna be for free for one month and then $9.7 for every month after that. That's why you don't wanna add coupon codes that is just one month for giving a one month free. You have to create a brand new plan. So depending on what type of special you're giving as to whether you're using a coupon code or you are creating a brand new plan, okay? So that's the options. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. A another thing that I will share, let's just pretend for a second that you want to create a special price for a specific time frame. So what you would do, I'm gonna sh show you something. You're going to basically do, let's say you wanna do a Black Friday special only, okay? So what you're gonna do, you're gonna click on duplicate funnel step, and then you're going to call this Black Friday. Check out page Black Friday. This is already changed, Black Friday. We're gonna change this like this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a countdown timer. So you see, I put the Black Friday pricing here, which is the one month off, and you want it to be valid for a specific time frame. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to put a countdown timer right here. And we're going to say, let's say this is the pricing, at this time it's gonna expire. And then you're going to redirect them to a URL, okay? And then you're gonna put the URL that it's gonna redirect once the countdown hits. So that way the checkout page basically will automatically redirect to the page that it's supposed to be, which is the standard page. So that way you don't have two pricing plans, which is the usual pricing plan and the special pricing plan, okay? So you're gonna put the, the URL right here of the general um, checkout. So let me just go back and grab that link, save. So you're gonna grab the usual checkout page, okay, which is the standard one. And we're gonna put a different pricing, not the Black Friday pricing, just for the sake of demonstration. Okay, and then we'll delete this one, this one. And now we're gonna grab the link, this link right here, we're gonna copy it. We're going to go to the Black Friday offer now we're going to change, we're gonna set up the redirect after the countdown. So as soon as Black Friday is over, or whatever the time frame is, if you're doing a launch, it will automatically redirect to the, 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 current, the actual pricing, not the special pricing. So you would then say right here, um, get access to this Black Friday special. It expires in exactly and then you don't have to actually change anything. It will menu, it will automatically redirect when the time when the countdown occurs. Okay. Now I'm gonna go back to the to the um, settings page, to the settings area. Okay. And now basically you end up with two different forms. You're gonna end up with the one that is the standard one, and then you end up with the second one, which is your current special offer. Okay. So that's how you can set these things up um, that way. And uh, yeah, that, that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know. I know it's a little bit of a long tutorial, but I wanted to really cover this whole topic of coupon codes in extreme detail, because this is definitely a question that I, I've received from people. If you're watching this on my YouTube channel and you have questions on what other scenarios you might be trying to set up, like what other type of scenarios, leave a comment with the exact coupon scenario that you're trying to set up, or what type of offer you're trying to set up, and I'll record another tutorial it will explain to you how to do it if needed, or I will just answer in the comment section on how to do that uh, specifically, okay? If you have any questions, let me know. Hopefully that clarifies. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I'll speak to you soon. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. I really appreciate it. So if you have not used System or haven't tested it out, you can actually create a free account. You're missing out big time. It is a great software. And all you gotta do is go to aranbukai.com forward slash SIO. That will take you to the system page. You enter your email, you create a free account, take it to a test drive. And when you feel confident, like you're ready to go and this is a good tool, the pricing is simply 27 a month, or you can also get 
197 a year, which is pricing is not available on their website, but I have a special link for that if you wanna take advantage of it. It's actually 10 times cheaper than the bigger competitors and so on, and it's a really good plan. So if you wanna check it out, uh, go to rambukai.com forward slash SIO, and let me know once you had a bit of a look around. Uh, that's about it. If you have any other questions or tutorials that you'd like me to make on System I.O., definitely let me know. Leave a comment below. I will do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, that's about it. Thanks. I'll speak to you soon.